Hello, all my viewers. It is I, the Blazing Larvesta, and happy Pokemon Day! This year marks the 24th anniversary of this beloved franchise, and to celebrate the occasion, I thought I'd go over various news and events revealed this day, as well as show off some of my own projects I made relating to this series. To start with, earlier this month, Google hosted a Pokemon of the Year voting gauntlet, similar to the Choose Your Legends ballot from Fire Emblem Heroes, to decide who was the most popular Pokemon amongst the fandom. Though there were many votes at entrance, it eventually got down to the top 10, which were revealed in a short video going over each of them. To be honest, it was mostly what I had expected it to be for the most part, though there were a few surprises, particularly the Evolutions and Mimikyu. It seems the imminent release of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX also played a part in the placement of some of the entrants, including the only legendary to make the top 10, Rayquaza. As a celebration of the winners of the competition, though, I've decided to draw the top 4 winners, Charizard, Mimikyu, Lucario, and Greninja, as brave heroes a la Fire Emblem Heroes. I hope to unveil my drawings on March 6th, 2020, to coincide with the release of Rescue Team DX, so I hope you look forward to when they get released. In other recent news, the Pokemon Company has also released a trailer showcasing a brand new mythical Pokemon for Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Rogue Monkey Pokemon Zarude. This guy was previously shown off as a silhouette a couple of weeks ago before being properly revealed today as the latest mythical Pokemon who was also set to make an appearance in the new Pokemon movie as well. I'll admit, this guy does look kinda goofy and a bit too similar to Rillaboom for my liking, but regardless, I am interested to see what this Pokemon has in store, so I'll definitely keep an eye out on it over the next few months. There are some more announcements and releases I could talk about in this video, like first movie remake or the new Pokemon Masters content, but these were the big two I wanted to go over, so I'll move on for now. Finally, onto my own works. Over the past year, I've been working on my own Pokemon fanfiction titled Pokemon Legacy of the Valiant, which is a Fire Emblem-esque Pokemon story set in the world of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Also, yes, in case you were wondering, I did get the name from that Yu-Gi-Oh pack back in 2013. Anyways, this story occurs before the events of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, around 10 years before Super Mystery Dungeon to be precise, and stars my Lord Vesta on his journey to form an army of the strongest Pokemon and save the Sand Continent from tyranny and crime. Pokemon Day just so happens to also mark the protagonist's birthday. I don't have much to show off in regards to this project, however, as despite my personal document taking up over 100 pages so far, the project is still heavily incomplete, and I don't have much in the way of artwork and trailers for the fanfic to give you guys an idea on what it's going to be like. Regardless, however, I hope you will be excited for it, and I will be sure to keep you guys up to date on any information I have to share when I feel the time is right. I also have a number of Pokemon videos for my YouTube channel to show off to you guys. Now, I'll admit, the last time I tried to set release dates for my videos, I failed to meet the vast majority of them, so I won't set definite release dates this time, but I do still have a lot to uncover for you guys. One such review I have in the works is of the latest game in the main series, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Shield is the 14th installment in the main Pokemon series, and marks the beginning of the 8th generation of Pokemon games. This is admittedly a controversial entry in the series, as I'll get into it in my video, but regardless, I do hope to get it out hopefully before the DLC releases. Once the DLC comes out, I'll make an updated review going over that as well if I get the original out before then, but if not, I'll go over both the main game and the DLC in one video. Personally, I'll admit I'm expecting the latter to happen. Another review, or rather series of reviews, I have in the works is a compilation of videos of me reviewing every entry in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, going over my history with each game, and giving my thoughts in a review of said games. I intend to go over every PMD game possible, starting with Red and Blue Rescue Team, and ending with either Rescue Team DX, or whatever the next game of the series winds up being should one pop up. Admittedly, this is a very ambitious project, and I expect it'll take approximately a few years to finish, so if I do go through with it, I hope you have a lot of time and patience to follow me along my journey. I also have two countdowns in mind regarding the series as well, one negative, but the other positive. The first of these videos is one I'm admittedly hesitant to work on and publish, but if you've been watching Josh Gorcher, I'm sure you're aware of his Top 10 Fails countdowns, where he goes over various gaming companies and their biggest failures. For a while, I've also wanted to do that sort of video, but with individual franchises instead of companies, and Pokemon just so happened to be my first target. Now, like I said, I'm not 100% certain I want to go through with this video, as recent controversies aside, let's face it, Announcing you're going to celebrate a franchise by taking a dump all over its legacy isn't exactly most people's idea of a birthday gift. But if the video does come out against all odds, I do still hope it's worth your time regardless. The other countdown I had in mind is thankfully much more positive. Top 10 Pokemon Games. 
I've played many entries in the series over the past several years I've been a fan, and I figured doing a top list ranking my favorite entries in the series would be a nice celebration of my enjoyment. I'll try shooting for February 27th of next year, as that's the franchise's 25th anniversary, but again, no promises on that date. Anyways, that's all I have in store for this video. There's quite a bit of exciting news regarding the franchise, and I can't wait for what new things the series has in store. Rescue Team DX comes out in about a week, Sword and Shield are getting new DLC, and even I have my own projects in the works that I'm excited to be working on. Anyways, I hope you all had an amazing Pokemon Day, and with that said, this is the Blazing Lord Vesta, signing out. Happy Anniversary!